So this is the model we've got on the bench here. Yeah. And like, like it, is, it says here, there's an outline of changes when there's a, when there's a new model. Mm -hmm. And um, rather than printing a whole new workshop manual, there'll be a supplement and it'll outline any changes that have been made yep. from the old model to the new model if there is similarities in the models. Yeah. Because there's just too many it. models to be able to memorise memorize everything. Stuff, yeah. So you have to have information on, on, it, on everything sort of thing. Because yeah, between all the, all the models and variations, you just couldn't remember everything. There's not a chance. If you can get a gauge on, on the format, you can scan through it quickly without spending all day yeah, sitting around trying to find what you need to find. Yeah, sure. Even with diagnosing being the most involved part, you have to write reports and that sort of stuff. Yeah. So that we can... You can't uh, really hide it if you can't. No, you it. can't. Yeah. You, you, have to be able to, you have to be able to come out with an outcome and, and then report on it. Mm. Report back to not only our office, but uh, the dealer it may have come from, so they, they can see what the problem was or yeah. what, what they can pick up on, and then as well as notifying the customer. Mm. So giving them an insight into what, what happened and why it happened. It's, it's pulled apart partially at the moment just because there's a bit of a problem with it. Okay. it was, yeah, it's had a, it's had a problem. So it's had an internal failure. Uh, and um, because it would come uh, like this straight off the production line, mm -hmm. um, it now has to be pulled down and investigated as to why it happened. And then uh, there'll be a report that's sent back to the factory that it was made in. Internal component measurements are obviously very important because uh, everything has to be very accurate mm -hmm. and you're dealing with very minute numbers. Yeah. Sure. So um, this is just some of the equipment we'll use. These are micrometers mm -hmm. for measuring outer diameter on, the, on like your big end bearing here because you're, yep. you're dealing with um, not only the size of this but the internal diameter of the conrod and mm -hmm. oil clearances so there has to be specific numbers between, uh, clearances between this and the other components uh, to allow oil clearance. 